So hello everybody, uh, welcome on board. Um, just another, uh, this is a little bit, bit of a pre-recorded one because I feel like I made a bit of a fudge of the live stream. <laughs> um, so here's a little presentation on 48 volt vehicles. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Uh, so my name is Jason McComb. Um, I'm an auto electrician and uh, learning development consultant. Here I am. Hey, hey. So let's get started on this presentation. So first of all, um, why 48 volts? Uh, why are we going on to 48? Why, why are the manufacturers going on to the 48 volt system? Uh, we'll look at the system itself, how it all works, how it all put, how, how it's all put together. And then we'll look at um, how it affects us as the aftermarket auto electrical industry. So why 48 volts? Well, um, there's more electronics uh, in these vehicles. We've seen a lot more um, uh, sensory systems. You've got camera systems, you've got sensory systems, and you've got you know uh, assistive braking and steering with all this electronics that's being used there's more demand for more power and the 12 volt system is is already stretched um, and there's all sorts of things that we could help and, and one of the things that we've looked at is the start stop system works really well so how can we aid that like with a uh, a system that has like a, a start off as we go along acceleration system so this is one of the main reasons why we're looking at this and and the other thing is as well is there there's still folks out there that don't want to go to the full hybrid solution where we have a a high voltage battery because that's that's weight and, and and everything else as well and you know they they're still not giving us the the level of range on an electric vehicle to you know to warrant coming away from the fossil fuel so here's uh, here's a here's a, a, a typical sort of system that you've got. Uh, you've got a 12 volt battery. You've got the conventional starter motor and 12 volt battery. That starter motor there is to start the vehicle up. Once the vehicle started, it's done. Uh, it doesn't need to be used again until obviously the vehicle stops. So in a conventional start stop vehicle, that starter would be used permanently. So on this type of vehicle, this mild hybrid, it's not. OK, um, got a conventional fuse box and then you've got a slight difference here. You've got a DC to DC converter here. Um, now, this DC to DC converter is converting the 48 volt power down to the 12 volt power uh, from the 48 volt system. And then the other change that you can see down the bottom right then is you've got a 48 volt starter belt generator system and you've got a drive belt drive in the engine. So looking on a vehicle, how that would appear on a vehicle, there's your 12 volt battery. You've got a 12 volt battery system. Um, you've got, I'll put myself back in, hello. Um, you've got the um, converter system, as you can see, the inter this, uh, sorry, not converter system, this mild hybrid starter generator system and inverter system, typically uh, taking the place of where the alternator would normally go. And then that's powering, as you can see, that's now uh, got cables coming out of it, and that's then going to the 48 volt system to uh, either used as a generate, regenerate system. Um, and that's basically it, that's the only change. So, um, as I say, this uh, DC to DC converter is the only change then that's, that's charging the 12 volt system. So, you haven't got an alternator on the system. Um, and the idea behind how it works is it, it's to aid the start stop. So it's to go to the next level of start stop, should we say. So in a normal start stop system, what you would do is as you pull up to a, a junction or roundabout, you, your car would stop. And it, would, it wouldn't restart then until you either uh, go press go or you know press the accelerator button down or go to put it in gear, depress the clutch and what have you on a manual system. Um, so... Um, what this system does is the engine's actually cutting down or cutting off uh, under 30 miles an hour. So under 30 miles an hour, it, it, and you then go to coast to stationary, the engine's actually shutting down. And um, that then doesn't re... Uh, and, and so what you're having is you're having brake, your brake system being powered by the electronics as well. So electrics, so rather than having... 
um, an engine servo, um, you're now running off electric. Um, so that's the first level. Now, when you go to start off, obviously it's started. So it's like another level of start stop. Um, this system is, and it's not only there. This system is not only there to start the engine. It'll also boost the engine. So as you pull off, um, some of the power will then, uh, some of the uh, the generator will actually power the engine off as and, and and aid the power and sorry, aid the engine off. Um, so you've got this extra mode, which is what they call free motor off mode. So what that means is it's just free wheeling without the engine. Um, and then the other the other thing, obviously, this 48 volt battery needs to be charged. And the way it charges is again off the starter generator, the mild hybrid starter generator. So as you're coasting or slowing down, it will use the, the it'll use it as a regenerative braking system as well. So let's have a look at the video. So there's the video. So um, the benefits from this uh, for the customer and from the end user is this: uh, the fuel savings. They reckon it's up to about uh, plus fifteen percent extra fuel uh, consumption. Um, and I, I imagine that where it's helping it out is this start-off point because that's that's where your car, your vehicle's using its most fuel for acceleration. Uh, and typically, that's what it does is as it goes to, as you go to start the engine or as it goes to start off or set off. Um, the engine's being aided by the motor generator uh, in terms of around about four and it aids it around about four to fifteen kilowatts of power to the engine to sort of give it sort of a bit of an oomph, should we say. Um, uh, and this system, why it's gone why we've gone to 48 volt, it's because of the heavier loads on the system. Um, and, and and that's one of the benefits of having this system. By having it on 48 volts, you're using less cable. And also, you wouldn't be able to run this system on, on a um, on a 12 volt system because it would have it would need such a large 12 volt battery. So you can use a, a small 48 volt battery. And, and and in essence, then because you're not starting up as much and using the start stop system much, you can have a smaller 12 volt battery system as well. So how is this going to affect us as auto electricians or aftermarket or electricians? Well, I think we've got to look at um, the battery consumption of, of the device that you, you fit in because obviously we're now working on a DC to DC converter and um, there's, there's obviously um, sort of challenges with that on its own. And, and, and the, the other key thing is battery monitoring. Um, how is the battery monitoring system going to affect us? Um, is it going to be watching because it's so sort of sensitive um, is it going to be watching what's being consumed off the battery system um, so at, at that point you know if you're fitting a, a large device like say for instance a blue light system or a radio kit or or, or DVR system or something like that's going to consume some you know a, a bit of electricity um, or even something like an inverter say for instance for a laptop um, you're going to consider have to, having to have a, a split charge system for it um, and then the other challenge is freewheeling mode is, you know, how how is this going to affect immobilization systems? How is this going to affect uh, how how you immobilize? There's going to be a big challenge on how you immobilize a vehicle. And then also finding an ignition sense, ignition wire, because certain devices need to see like an ignition ignition wire as well. So with this freewheeling mode and start stop, 
you know, we've always had a challenge with start stop as it is. But with the free Williamman, how's that going to challenge it as well? So that's it for this one, folks. Thanks very much for watching. See you next week. Thank you.